welcome to a postpartum yoga class. This class is ideal for moms who are just getting back post baby, either from a vaginal or cesarean um, birth. And um, so probably about like six to 12 weeks. So you're just kind of the first um, time getting back on the mat. Um, just make sure that you have um, been cleared by your doctor before you um, do this practice and join me on the mat. But we'll be taking it nice and slow today. Um, and if this is your first time back on the mat after having a baby, please just listen to your body and rest as much as possible and just take things really slow because there's really no point in rushing it. Um, but the focus of today's class will be rebuilding strength, working on our breath, and working on our core and pelvic floor um, while connecting with our breath. Um, we kind of work on everything as a whole system instead of like individual, but um, I'm really excited for you to be here today with me and let's get started. And we're going to start on our back. Come to a nice lay down position. Bring our feet up and just kind of relax them. So when our feet flat on the ground, you just have your knees up, your knees kind of bring them together and rest them on each other. And we're going to bring our hands to our chest and our belly. And I just want you to start breathing through your nose for nice long inhales and out through your nose. And as you breathe, I just want you to take note and see where you're feeling the breath. Do you feel it just in your chest or are you feeling it in your belly? We want to start to transform our breath into being a nice and big diaphragmatic breath, which means that we're using our diaphragm to come down and expand our belly as we breathe that allows our lungs to fill up. So we're getting those nice big breaths. And we're going to kind of gradually start working that. And we're going to just take now, take our hands, and we're going to use them as kind of help cues of feeling it. And put it just at the bottom of your ribs. So your thumbs are on your back, and then your fingers are kind of coming up towards the top. Now I want you to focus your breath and inhale, expand the belly upward, and expand the sides into your palms. And it might feel a little foreign to do this. You exhale it all out. Take a couple more breaths to work on it. Inhale, expand even to the hands. And exhale back down. Inhale into the hands. And then exhale back down. Now we want to focus on our back expanding. So we're going to inhale into our thumbs and allow our back to expand into the ground. And you're probably not going to get as much movement as you do on your front and your side body. It's going to be a gradual expansion. So as we breathe this way, we're working our transverse abs, working the um, muscles along our spine, and then we're working the top of our core, which is our diaphragm and our pelvic floor. So we're working this core as a whole, and this is going to help with our strengthening and relaxing of our pelvic floor. And working also on our diastasis rectum if we have any, and starting to strengthen those muscles. And we're going to breathe like this our whole practice. We're going to take it a step further and get into our pelvic floor. So we're going to take our hand and we're just going to put it down by our vagina. And I want to put it here because I want you to start feeling your pelvic floor as we breathe. So as you breathe in, your pelvic floor is going to relax and push into your hand. And then as you breathe out, your pelvic floor is going to contract and come back up towards your diaphragm. So inhale, the pelvic floor relaxes into your hand. And exhale, it contracts. So a lot of times we focus a lot in postpartum on like the contracting of the pelvic floor. We want to also work on the relaxation because not everybody will have problems with the contracting. It might be relaxing. And I really recommend that everybody goes to the pelvic floor physical therapist to get checked out to see how your pelvic floor individually is doing and get some individual attention on it, um, which I think should be standard, but it's not. But definitely recommend doing that. So we're going to just spend a few more moments here, just breathing, nice big inhales, expanding, and at 360 degrees, 
and exhale, let it all out. Everything contracts back towards the spine. We're gonna work on this breath throughout practice, but I kind of want you to work on it on your own at home because um, working up to like five to 10 minutes of just breathing every day. You find a lot of benefits from it, help you with your stress, anxiety, as well as starting to work that core nice and gradually. Let our breath settle out. I'm gonna start moving the body and warming everything up. I'm gonna extend the right foot down and then we're gonna take the left, put it up, the foot towards the ceiling and we're gonna grab our hands behind the thigh. We're gonna just gradually bend the foot, allow it to come down to the ground and come back up. Just warming up this knee, nice and gradually and slowly. Getting some movement into it. We're gonna expand the leg up, the leg or the foot towards the ceiling. Then we're gonna point and flex. So we're pointing towards the ceiling and then towards your head with your toes and just warm up that calf, getting some range of motion in two directions of the ankle. I like this one, it feels nice and good on that calf. Then we're gonna to point towards the ceiling and start drawing circles with our toes, getting the rest of the range of motion with the ankles. Like our feet, we don't spend enough time giving a little care to them, especially postpartum. We'll go the other direction with the circles. You have spent a lot of time on your feet throughout pregnancy, probably a lot of stress and swelling. That's kind of nice now as you recover to get a little more movement and attention to those your feet and then all the joints, especially in the lower body. Then we're gonna point it back towards the ceiling and then we're gonna just release your hands down and allow our knee to come out towards that left side and we'll just do some circles. Bring the knee around so you have some hip circles going here. The leg expands, the knee comes to the chest and then out towards the left side. And when you're ready, we'll swap it up going the other way. And we'll bring it out. We'll make the left by the right. And just kind of notice the difference between the sides. I'm going to rock the walk the right foot onto the ground so the knee's up in the air. And then we're going to take the left foot and cross it over the right. And this might be enough stretch for you. So you have the spring four going or this reclined pigeon. So we're trying to get into that left outer hip. And this might be enough for you. Or you can take your hands and clasp them behind that right leg and gently, nice and easy, pull that um, right knee leg towards your chest. And you start feeling that nice stretch, the outer left side. We want to keep it nice and gentle. So we just back off a little bit. Still have a lot of relaxing in your body and we don't want to overstretch. We just want to be nice and gentle with everything, allowing the body just to move today as your practice. And we'll release the hands, allow the foot to come to the ground. They'll bring the right to the left or meet the right and we'll just extend the left leg out and we'll point the right foot into the sky and grab behind the back of the right leg and we'll start again bending at the knee the foot coming down towards the ground and then extending it back up warming up that knee if you have any snaps crackles um that's okay my joints are always crackling as i start moving them i don't know if this is after through pregnancy or old age but kind of happens or all the running I do I don't know and we'll extend the foot up towards the ceiling and we'll point the toes towards the ceiling and towards your head warming up that right calf now and we'll start with the circles doing circles with the ceiling and the rest of the range of emotion through our ankles Warming it up nicely, and then go the other direction. It's nice to move our body and all of our joints in all the possible directions, because sometimes we don't um, do a lot of that, especially as new moms. We're spending a lot of time probably sitting in our scenes. We're just kind of bent over, hunched over. Maybe we're just going for a little bit of walks. We're not moving everything in all directions. We'll stop and point towards the ceiling. Bring our hands to the ground and allow that right knee to drop out to the right side. And we'll circle, so we'll extend the leg out, hug the knee in, and then out to the right. 
Make nice hips or holes. Getting some movement into the hips. And we'll switch up directions. Make sure props are not close to you. I was like, you can read my blocks here, but that's okay. We'll extend the right out, and extend the left. Just kind of notice the difference now. Body feeling about the same. And we'll walk the feet in, planting the left foot down and the right across the left. Um, thigh to make this figure four. Once again, this might be all you need to go if you your, tips are, your hips are super tight. Or you're going to take your hands behind the left thigh and just pull it ever so gently towards your chest. You don't have to go far to start to feel that stretch in that outer right hip. We're breathing here as we're holding the stretch, sending that breath into that outer hip, stretching it ever so gently. Don't allow the foot to hit the floor and then bring the right to meet the left. And we're going to just take both knees and hug them in to your chest. You can either stay here or just jumping rock side by side. Get your sacrum, a little massage. Open up that low back a little bit. I love this one. It feels so nice. And we're going to gently just roll over to one side, your choice, and then press up to come to seated. We don't want to crunch up as we come to seated um, and put that extra pressure right now on our diastasis. Um, Cause that, our diastasis is the, um, you know, our soft tissue between our um, abs and most moms, especially at this point are going to have diastasis recti. Um, at 40 weeks, every mom has it. And then everybody heals at their own rate. Some moms will heal by six, 12 weeks. Others, it takes six months or longer. So we just want to be very cautious of our movements and how we're moving and that extra strain we might put on it. So we're going to come to our nice seated position. Hands and your knees. And if you have a blanket or a towel, you can come up onto the edge and kind of just raise your hips up a little more. Allow them to open up just a tad bit more. It might be a little more comfortable. And we're going to inhale our arms up and over, stretching up. And we're going to um, come over to the left side or from the left hand, the right arm stretches up and that left shoulder comes away from the ear. The right hip goes into the ground through this nice long stretch on the left side. And we'll bring our gaze, or on the right side, and we'll bring our gaze up towards the ceiling. Inhaling, expanding, and exhaling, sinking the hips down. Just note where your breath is again, making sure you're breathing through the belly, these nice diaphragmatic breaths. We'll inhale through center, then drop the right hand down, the left comes up and over. We're stretching out tall, the hips sink into the ground. The gaze can come up towards that left side. We'll inhale through center and exhale. We're going to twist over to the left, so the right hand to the left knee, the left hand comes behind us, and we're going to inhale, lengthen, and the exhale, we're going to twist. We can go to nice deep twist now. Our gaze, looking over that left shoulder. We're sitting up nice and tall. And if you ever breathe here and hold it comfortably, we'll inhale, lengthen, and unwind. Come to the right side. So the left hand to the right knee, the right hand behind. And we'll inhale, lengthen, and exhale, twist. That gaze is now over that left shoulder, the right shoulder. We'll unwind. And then you can either stay on the blanket or move it out. And then we're just going to come to a 90-90. So that right foot's across and then so it's at like a 90 degree. And then the left is at, or sorry, the left is in front and then the right is at a 90 degree. And we're going to inhale, lengthen, and turn over to the left. And we're just going to forward fold over the left knee. We want our back nice and tall. Our hips are sinking back. Getting into the hips a little for a stretch. You can always inhale and lengthen and walk your fingers out. And those hips just are coming back. Helps get in a little deeper into the stretch. And then walk your hands in. We'll plant the left hand behind the right arm comes up. And we're gonna rise. So we're gonna inhale, stabilize your core, and then exhale. Let it out, and the next inhale, that stable core will breathe in. So inhale, stabilize the core. 
Let the breath come out. And then the next inhale, we rise, coming our hips up and forward. Just hold it for a second. You're breathing as you do. And then the next exhale, we come back down nice and slow. And we'll rise again. You can either stay there or you can bring both arms up if you have more stability in your core. You just inhale, stable core. Next inhale, we'll rise up. And we'll slowly come back down. I'll show it again with some stability here. Inhale, we rise. And exhale, we slowly come down. Starting to open up this front body and then our front pelvis a little bit and working on those glutes. So then we're just going to take our legs and be nice and stable in your core and upright as we switch them to the other side. And then we're going to inhale and turn and over the right knee now. The hips are coming back. You can inhale, lengthen. I got this nice forward fold, stretching out the hips a little bit. So we're sinking those hips back. Get in the stretch and turn a bit more. We'll inhale, walk it up. So now the right hand comes back for some stability. The left arm can come up. We inhale, we stabilize the core. The next inhale, we'll rise, lifting our hips up. You have a little back bend if you have that hand there. Otherwise, if your both arms are up, you're just nice and stable and straight, and then back down. I'll show it with the, both arms up. Stabilize that core. And the next breath, we inhale and rise. Hold it. We come back down. And plant that hand behind us again if you would like, or you're gonna be up. We'll inhale. Next inhale, we rise, that stable core. We'll rise it back down. Now we'll just bring both feet out in front of us and come into a Baddha Konasana or about angles so where our feet are together. Our hands are on our feet, our knees are out to the side. You have a lot of space with your knees, you always just sort of lock underneath them and upright hold them so that allows to have a little support and allow our hips to open up. How many so we can sit up nice and tall, just allowing gravity to open up our hips and pull them down with a nice gentle hip opener. Or if you have a space and would like an inhale and lengthen and just slight forward fold, keep it a nice straight back. So the hips are back and gravity is kind of helping pull them down towards the ground and pulling the knees and just opening up those hips ever so slightly. We breathe here as we hold it. Inhale, rise. I'm going to slowly come on over, find a quick table. We're just going to stay for a second, and then we're just going to sink our uh, hips back towards our heels and stretch our hands out to come in our first child's pose, allowing our head to hit the floor and just rest there. Our hips are sinking back, and we're breathing. You can stretch your hands out, stretch out your upper back. And we're just going to take our hands and we're going to walk over to the left side. We have a little crescent moon, half moon sitting here. So that stretch along the whole right side. Our hips are still back. We're going to this spine in all directions here. We'll walk it towards center. And over to the right. Our hips are sinking back. Feel that nice stretch now through the left side. We'll come up to our hands and our knees and find our table. To the table, we want our hands and our shoulders, our knees are hip distance, our feet are flat. And we're not, our back is nice and neutral, our pelvis is neutral. If I put a glass of water on your back, you'll be able to hold it. And you want to be able to hold it not just here in neutral, but um, as we move into our bird dog a little bit later, we'll talk about it then. But we just don't want like one hip above or one hip down. We want this nice back, nice neutral back. From here, we're gonna move into some flexing of the spine. So we're just gonna inhale, drop our belly, our chin comes up in the cow. Exhale, we round the back, tuck the chin in the cat. And just flow with your breath. Feels so good to move the spine in this way. Spine, our table. 
and sway the hips side by side the knee for a second and then we find that table and we're going to work through bird dog here we're going to work it in a couple segments as we work on stabilizing the core so we're going to take a nice inhale we want a nice stable core and then let that exhale out while keeping this ability and we're just going to move one arm at a time and bring it down and we're going to keep that back nice and flat we're breathing through this do two more times on each side and the thing is we want to move slow here we don't want to move fast one more side left arm Now we're into our legs, and the legs sometimes can be more of the harder part of like keeping our back flat. So we'll inhale and stabilize the core. Exhale as we let it out with some stabilizing, and then inhale, we'll move one leg. And you don't have to go up high. You can have it on the floor if you need to keep it back straight and come in. And the other side, the right, and back. Okay, let's do it two more times, the left. Then it back straight. Nice stable core. You should start feeling it there. One more time. Now we'll move with the bird dog into each side. So we're gonna move the left arm and right knee or right leg out, which is how we did, and then the other side. So I'll call it by the hand, but the opposite leg will move with it. So let's take a nice cleansing breath here. We'll inhale. Exhale, let it all out. The next inhale, we're gonna inhale and stabilize our core. And we'll start moving left arm, right leg, keep that back flat and down nice and slow. Right arm, left leg coming down. We'll do it two more sides on each side, left arm. Keep that back flat, we're moving slow. Right arm, nice and slow out. And slow back in, stable the core one more time on each side. Left arm's out and right arm. And we come back to our table. Should have felt a little core work there, we can get breathing. We're just going to tuck our toes, lift our knees and our hips up to find our downward dog. So, downward dog, our hands are planted. Um, Kind of imagine that our bottle caps from the internal men, now that our upper arms turning in, our shoulders are up and down our backs, our hips are lifted, your knees can be bent, especially if your back is tight, it's okay to bend your knees as much as you need to. Your heels don't need to be on the ground, they can be up. You can always just walk it out, find some movement in this down dog. Come up on your toes and back on your heels, and stretch out your calves. I always just like to tell people, especially on the first down dog, find the movement or stillness that works best for you and what you're feeling today. Then we're gonna drop our knees. And we're gonna find Hero's Pose for a second. We're just gonna put our feet flat on the ground. We're gonna come back like this. And we're just gonna stretch out the top of these feet for a second. Um, that's something we probably don't do a lot of times. Just breathe, stand nice and tall. Let's come up for a second and just move our feet and we'll tuck our toes and we'll come back again. Now I'll just kind of stretch them out, our toes out a bit. Ever so gentle here. And then I'm going to turn and we'll come back with our feet flat. And then we'll come up on our knees. We're sitting up nice and tall. We're coming to the gate. So we'll bring our left leg out to the side. So we have the, our toes are pointing forward. We'll inhale our arms up and overhead. And exhale, we'll drop the left hand down to the leg, the right arm comes up, and the right knee pushes into the ground. Just feel this nice stretch of the whole right side body. Moving your gaze up towards the ceiling and that top hand. Just breathe here. And we'll float that right hand down to the ground. The left arm comes up, straight through this nice straight line on the left side. The foot's pressing into the ground. Just give it a nice little stretch. And then we'll slowly come on up again. Bring our hands to our hips. Bring our left knee in. We'll go the right leg out. The, toy, the toes are pointing straight in. Inhale or, or straight forward. Inhale our arms up and overhead and drop the right hand down. The left arm comes up and over. 
that knee is pressing into the ground, the gaze is up at that top hand. I feel that stretch now, especially in the left hip here. Open up this whole side body. Oh, feels so good. Open it up. And we'll float it down. The left hand comes down. The right arm is straight. We have a nice straight line in the right side body and the right foot's pressing into the ground. That gaze can be up, just stretching it out. We'll float it on up. Put our hands at our hip. Nice and slowly bring the knee in. I'll turn back around. We'll find that table again. And from here, we're just going to tuck those toes. And for a second, we're just going to find that stabilizing um, breath again and just lift the knees up ever so slightly up the ground. We'll hold it for a second. And back down. Just do that one more time. We're breathing as we're holding it, just working on the core once again as a whole here as we breathe. We'll inhale, stabilize, and exhale, lift. And back down. Our toes are tucked. We'll lift our knees now up and back and our hips up and back and find that down dog again. You can stretch it out here. Come with the heels back and then rock it forward up on our toes. Heels back. Stretching out those calves. We're going to walk the dog a little bit. Feels so nice. And we're going to look forward. We're just going to walk our feet. Nothing fancy here. After our hands, the hands can go back to the feet. Feet are hip distance. Our knees can be bent. We're in a forward fold. So let's hang out here. Getting into the hamstrings a little bit. You can grab your um, elbows and just ragdoll it out. You can always come up to if they're super tight onto a block or even just a half back. Kind of just play with it. It feels good for you right now and how your hamstrings are and any tightness you have there. If you're grabbing your elbows, you can release them. You just hang out. We're gonna take a nice big inhale. We're gonna rise, come into half back. Our hands are on our thighs. Your back is nice and straight. Take a breath here. And we'll inhale, lengthen, and just rise up. And we're gonna find our Tadasana. So our feet are, I'm gonna walk you through it first. So our heat, feet are hip distance apart. We're firmly planting into the ground. Our legs, we're pulling the muscle and hugging the bone. We have a nice neutral pelvis. Our shoulders are gonna go up and down our back, bringing our hands by our side, and then the crown of our head's being pulled towards the ceiling. So our body is fully engaged. And I want you to refine that diaphragmatic breath. So the nice inhales, the belly expands, the sides expand, and the back expands, and that pelvic floor is relaxing, and it exhales, the pelvic floor comes up, and everything comes back in. Just take a moment to find that. And it might be more difficult, especially if this is your first time doing this standing. So you might not get it, but it's just practice, 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 and it will come. I'm going to take a nice big inhale, bring our arms up and overhead. With an exhale, we're going to send our hips back. And then we're going to start squatting down to find a chair. So our hips go back first, then we squat. Our back is nice and straight. We bring your hands to heart center for a little more stability if you need to. You can always take a block and kind of squeeze it. You might just find that it's a little more um, comfortable right now. Um, squeezing onto that block, um, it kind of helps just bring everything in and get good alignment. And we'll just hold it here for a second, just trying to work on the strength. And we'll inhale, lengthen, you can remove the block. So we're standing nice and tall in Svasana. And then we're gonna take a step back with the right foot. And our feet are gonna be on road tracks. We're gonna find um, warrior one. So we'll just take a 45 degree angle with the back foot, the front foot is going forward, our hips are squared. We're gonna inhale our arms up and overhead. With the exhale, we'll just lunge into that left foot, the knee over the ankle. And we want our standing pose, we want to keep right now in postpartum our stances short. So kind of drawing everything in towards the center line. So our feet are pressing the ground, our thighs are hugging into each other. So kind of pulling them together. Our hips are nice and square. Our arms can be at heart center or you can bring them up. We're just breathing here, just feeling the strength through our legs. 
feeling strong and powerful because that's what we are as moms we are so strong we are so powerful we're goddesses and then we're going to open up so we're bringing our arms open up and we're going to rotate our right foot back so now it's perpendicular and we're coming into warrior two so we have a nice alignment with our heel through our ankle well, our hips are square to the long side of our mat arms come up to shoulder height and we'll just lunge back into that left foot the knee over the ankle and then remember we want that knee to come towards that pinky toes so we're nice and open we don't want it to collapse we want it to be nice and open and that gaze is coming over that left hand and then we want to make sure too if you need to bring it in you can have a nice shorter stance that's okay we don't need this super long warrior two stance right now and then where these thighs are hugging in towards center line and we're bringing everything up so that nice stable core we're breathing here. The feet are pressing into the mat. I want to drop that left arm to the left thigh. The right arm is going to come up and over to the side angle. And then this hip is coming back. So we're nice and open. This is probably where you're going to want to be today as one of your first practices as I fall out of it. Um, or if you have more space, you can come either down to the floor or a block. But don't rush it. I'm going to keep this hip open and we'll just slowly rise on up nice and controlled and we're going to straighten the left leg we can even turn the back leg in 45 degrees and kind of get our hip to turn as we come into a triangle we're going to kick that right hip back and just tumble the left hand down to our shin the floor block i'm a shin person here and the left right arm's up and over our shoulders are stacked and our gaze is up but yeah, your hand can also come to the floor or even a block here. You know, finding what is good for you. The big thing is when your shoulders stacked and this hip is coming back. And we're breathing here. We want to breathe. If you find yourself not breathing, just come out of the pose a little bit. You can rise on up here. Maybe you can now open up everything and breathe a lot better. So use that breath and how easy or hard it is to kind of find the right spot. We'll inhale, we'll rise on up, straighten that leg, and then we're just going to cartwheel our hands down to the ground, and then we're going to step that right foot up and find a forward fold. Once again, just hang out here, grabbing our elbows, your knees can be bent, just let it all go. And let your hands come down. And we'll inhale, lengthen, the half back, nice and straight, and then inhale, rise. We're in our toss, I'm going to go on the side so I can still be open to you guys. Inhale, our arms up and overhead, and we're going to sink the hips back, bend at the knees, and find chair. Remember, you can put the block in between your knees again if you need to, so we have a nice straight back. Our hips are back, hugging everything in towards center line. Hands can be at heart center if you need a little more stability here. More breathing. We'll inhale, lengthen, and let it go. Now we'll take a step back with the left foot to find warrior one. So the, foot's at, the left foot's at 45 degrees, our hips are squared, our feet are on our tracks. We'll inhale our arms up and over, and then exhale, we'll lunge the right knee over the ankle. Hands can also come here in the heart center. Feet are pressing into the ground, thighs are pulling towards center line. We're up with our pelvic floor, we have this nice stable core, we're breathing. We'll just open it up, we're retaining that left foot. Now it's perpendicular, we've got the heel to the arch. And then we'll lunge in, arms are at um, shoulder height, and right knees are over the ankle, and that knee is going back towards the pinky toes, we're nice and open. We're in warrior two, pressing in with our feet to the ground, our thighs are hugging towards midline. We're nice and tall. We're breathing into our core. Keeping our feet where they are, we'll drop the right forearm to the sh um, thigh the left arm comes up and the left hip comes back and we're in side angle our feet are still pressing to the ground remember this hand can also come to the ground or block if you have the space the big thing 
with these shoulders nice and stacked here. We'll slowly unwind coming up. We'll straighten that right leg. You can bring this foot in and angle it in 45 degrees as we get ready for triangle. So the arms are at shoulder height. We kick the left hip back. We bring the right hand down to our shin, a block on the floor. The left arm comes up. Our shoulders are stacked. Our gaze is at the ceiling and that upper hand. And then this left hip comes back. The feet are pressing into the ground. We're feeling that stretch now on that hip. Our legs are still nice and strong. We'll slowly rise, keep it nice and tall and stable core here. Drop our hands down. We'll steel toe, our feet in. And we'll get ready for a balance pose here. So feel free to grab some water real quick as we get in, or we can just flow right into it. So we're gonna come into tree. So we're gonna start with our mountain pose where our feet hit this as apart, weights evenly distributed. Come in there, we're nice and tall and stable. We're just gonna shift our weight over to our left foot. The Right foot comes off the ground. We can either just kick stand it here or put it up at our shin or grab it and put it up at our thigh. Our hands can come to heart center. Or if you need, you can bring it up towards the ceiling. We have a nice focal point and we're just breathing here. Just relaxing. Feeling this knee to open up towards the side. Just wanna make sure that foot is not on your knee um, cause that just puts a little too much pressure there. So we either want it above or below and your balance might not be where you want it to be today. It might take a while to get it all back and that's okay. We'll slowly come out of it, releasing our right foot down, stretching it out, let it come to the ground. We'll shift our weight over, shake out that left leg. We'll go to the other side. So we find our balance, our mountain pose, and we're nice and even weight. And we'll shift the weight over to the right leg and then bring up our foot. Same options, you can kickstand it, bring it to the shin, or grab it and bring it to the thigh. And your this side might look different than the other side, and that's okay. Just find that right spot. The hands, the heart center. Inhale, bring your arms up and overhead. If you'd like, finding that focal point, the ceiling to the wall or the wall to the floor are great spots to look at. They're stable, you can just focus on it. We're nice and tall, the crown of our head is being pulled towards the ceiling and we just breathe. We'll slowly come out of it. If you fall out, that's okay. It's all good, it's all good. All right, and we're gonna kind of flow ourselves down really gently and work on some seated poses. So we're gonna come to the top of our mat and mountain, and we're gonna inhale our arms up and overhead. With the exhale, we'll just forward fold. And then inhale, lengthen, come to the half back. Exhale, we're gonna plant our hands, we're gonna step back. We're gonna come to a plank. We're just gonna stay here for a moment. We're gonna drop our knees. Then I just want you to slowly lower yourself down to the ground. You can just rest the cheek on the ground for a second. Rest your hands by your sides. Let it all go after we just worked on our legs. When it comes to cobra, we're just gonna work on a low cobra today. So we're gonna bring our hands down by our chest. We're gonna gaze this forward. The chin is just hovering over the mat. And now we're gonna start to breathe for a second. All right, we're down here. Our head down, our chin is just up a little. We breathe. And then now the breath more out towards the side. We're on our belly. Just notice how that feels. You might find it nice to have a little kind of massage with your breath on your belly. And then next inhale, we're just gonna inhale. We're gonna look forward and rise our chest off the ground ever so slightly, kind of opening up the chest and the shoulders. Your hands should be pressing too much when you bring them up and they should be fine. They're kind of sitting here. And exhale, we'll bring it down, relax. Next inhale, we'll rise, so keeping that little cobra. Exhale, down. Do it one more time. Inhale, rise. And exhale, down. Now we're just gonna push up and back. 
Knees can come wider, we're gonna come into the child's pose. Our hips sink back towards our feet. Arms can be out in front, you can put them under your forehead or just let your forehead go down to the ground. We're just gonna rest here for a moment. I just want you to refine that breath and that diaphragmatic breathing, allowing everything to expand away from the spine with the inhale and fall back in with the exhale. Child's pose, as you might know, is just a great way to kind of just bring all that focus and that energy inward and just kind of recoup, reground. We'll kind of come on up and we'll come to the seated, kind of work your way over. We'll come into Johnny. We'll bring one, your left foot out. The right foot is going to come into the thigh. And we're going to inhale our arms up and overhead. And we're just going to kind of bring that left hand down. The right comes up and over. So we're opening up that right side a little bit. And this hip and knee are coming to the ground. You can grab the toe if you have the space. But if you don't, that's okay. We'll inhale up. We'll switch sides. Grab, bring the right hand down to the shin or the thigh and the left arm comes up and over. Sorry, I meant the shin or the toe here. The left hip and knee are pressing into the ground. You're feeling that stretch to the side. On the back of this leg. And we'll rise and up. We'll come to both legs out. We wanna make sure our feet are engaged. So the bed of our foot's pointing forward, the toes are back towards us, and this engages the foot. So if you relax it, you can kind of notice now the difference between engaged and not engaged. We wanna make sure we're up on our flesh, or our sit bones, we move that flesh up under, or you can come up on a blanket. We'll inhale our arms up and overhead, and exhale, we'll just forward fold. Nice, long back, let our hands fall where they fall. Inhale, expanding out. Exhale, let it all sink in. After a few breaths, you might be able to find another, a little more space by inhaling, lengthening, walking the fingers out a little more, and exhale, forward folding a little bit more. But you might not, and that's okay. You don't have to go far here to get the benefits. Go ahead through the back, both of the legs, a little bit of the back. We'll inhale, slowly rise up, and walk it in. And we'll get into fire log. So you might have a block or a blanket here to help you. But we're gonna bring our left leg across the mat um, so it's parallel with that edge of the mat. And then take the right. We're gonna just cradle it for a second. Just kind of go back and forth, opening up that hip. And then we're gonna stack the right on top of the left. So the right foot is over the knee and then the knee is over the foot. And this might um, be where you need to be right now. But if you have a lot of gap here or you're super tight, you got some options. You can either bring this foot is out in front on the floor that might feel a little bit better and open up that hip a bit more or you can put a block under it. Just kind of play with it and see what feels good for you. And you might just want to stay upright or if you need a little bit more of a stretch, just inhale and lengthen and come forward fold. Either your hands out in front, I just kind of like to rest them on my legs. My hips are being sent back and pressing into the mat and feeling that stretch here through the hip on the right side. Just breathe. Nice long breaths. And nice long exhales. We'll slowly rise on up. We'll switch the legs out. Bring the left leg down. Turn the right leg down. Move right and the left leg comes in your arm. You can just cradle it. And we'll set the left on top of the right. Foot over knee, knee over foot. The same options of where your feet go on this. If you're feeling a lot of tightness in the left side, it might be different than the other side. Um, it might be looser or tighter. Just kind of play with it all. And if you can just, if you want, you can stay here or you can forward fold. And that nice straight back. The hips are sinking back. Get it into that left hip a little more. Inhale, lengthen up. 
bring our feet out in front of us. Pull this windshield wiper on. We can tap them up and down, just kind of shaking them all out. And we're going to work our way down to our back. So we come over to our side, kind of work down, and then roll over to our back. And we're going to get into bridge. So you might want to block close by. We're going to play with it. We'll bring our feet in. And I want you to take that block first and put it between your knees and just squeeze a block. And I want you to feel how that feels in that alignment of your knees and your hips. We don't want in bridge our feet, knees to come out. So either having a block or imagining you have a block there and you're squeezing that block will help with that alignment and help strengthen your glutes here as we go into this. So we're gonna bring our arms up by our side and we're gonna inhale, we're gonna rise our hips up. And this is, might be where you go, we just the hips are slightly off the ground. We have a nice line between the hips and the knees here. We're not like overextending, so we're putting, not putting pressure on our diastasis here. We're just nice and stable here. And then, it's like, oh, I want to block you. You're holding in, your knees are coming in, you're not letting them come out. And if you want, you can just put a block here under your low back and just rest it there. Feeling nice and supported. Your chest is nice and open here too, which is nice. But if you want to go a little further, you can just inhale, rise your hips a little further, but not so we're arching the back, clasp your hands, and then come up onto your shoulders. So now we have this nice line between our shoulders and our knees, but our hips are in line with it. We're still not coming up like this, but we're arching. We're nice, nice and neutral here. We're just breathing. We're strengthening the glutes here, open up the front body. Slowly coming down, allowing the shoulders to come out or removing the block and coming down. If you're blocked between your knees, you can remove it. And we're just gonna get a nice squeeze. We get our knees to our chest. We're gonna go side to side here. And we're gonna do a little um, quick light inversion here. It's just gonna be legs up. So we're gonna put the legs up. You can either have your arms up if you want or just bring them down by the side. We're just gonna take a moment just allowing the blood to come out of our feet back towards our heart. Just kind of a nice, relaxed recovery. Um, another way you can do this to feel a little more supported is to go up against the wall and put your feet up the wall. Um, it's a great recovery here. And we're just gonna stay here for a second today. We're not gonna stay here long. Just allowing that blood to flow out of our feet. Flushing out any lactic acid we might have there. And we'll slowly bring them down to the ground. We're gonna get into some last um, spinal twist here. So we're gonna take our left knee and hug it into our chest. Feeling nice and secure here. And then we're gonna take our right hand and bring that left knee over to the right side. And then the right arm goes out. You might have more room not being against the wall and that gaze is gonna go over that left side. So a nice full body stretch here. We're twisting it out. And this left foot can, or knee can come up on some blocks or a bolster too for a little more support. We'll slowly unwind, allowing the left knee to come to the left side, the foot against the right. So we're in a supine tree, the hands down by the side. Once a lot of gravity to pull that knee towards the ground and open up our hips. And we'll straighten out the left leg next to the right. And just kind of notice the difference between the sides. We'll hug in the right knee towards the chest, give it a nice squeeze. And then we use that left hand to guide the right knee over to the left side. The right arm comes out and our gaze comes over the right side and this nice twist through our spine. Whole body brings it all out. Feels so nice. And we'll open it up. On the knee to come back down to find the supine tree. The hands are down by our side. We breathe here. We slowly extend our right and meet the left. 
noticing now how the legs are feeling. Are they feeling about the same? Maybe they're still a little bit different. We'll walk our feet in and bring in our knees to our chest for one more hug. You might just want to grab your feet, kind of the happy baby. Kind of a reclined squat here. Back is against the ground. You can just hold it here, sway side by side. And massaging out that low back again. We'll slowly release our feet, sending the legs out to come into Shavasana. So you can either just have your legs out, or you can always just put a blanket or a bolster on your knees. It might feel a little bit better. Align your feet to go out to the side. Our arms are down by our side, our hands are relaxed. And we're just going to start scanning our body. We let our breath settle out to nice, easy inhales and exhales through our nose. Kind of to where they seem effortless. As we scan our body with our breath, we notice any tension and we'll let it go. We let our toes and our ankles, our, allowing our feet to flop out to the side, allowing all that tension to go there. We work our way up our legs, relax our knees and our hips. Relax all the muscles through our back. Relax our shoulders, allowing them to sink into the ground. Relax our fingertips and our wrists, allowing our hands to settle out towards the side. Allowing our elbows to relax. We let our chest open up. We allow that tension to go from our jaw, allow it to release away from our upper mouth. We relax our face muscles and our scalp. Our whole body is relaxed. Gravity is allowing it to sink into the earth. We feel connected. We use our breath to settle out our mind. We allow our thoughts to go. And if they do appear, we just accept them and release them and let them go and find quiet and peace. And stay in Shavasana as long as you'd like. And just hit pause and relax here. And when you're ready, we'll start bringing movement back into our body, to the lower toes, to the lower fingers. You bring your arms up and over, stretching your fingers and your toes in opposite directions, giving yourself a nice long stretch. Keeping your eyes closed, you can slowly roll over to one side. Resting here, bring your knees toward your chest and take a moment and find stillness. And when you kind of feel that breath slowly, and just when you're ready, you can press that upper hand to the ground and slowly rise up to seated position. Keeping your eyes closed. Bring your hands to your knees. Find your hips and your body of your the weight of your body to settle into the ground. Shoulders are up and down your back. The kind of your head is towards the ceiling. We're nice and tall. And take a moment to scan your body, noticing how it's feeling today. And scan your breath. What differences are you noticing from when we started? 
Are you finding the diaphragmatic breath a little bit easier? Maybe your breaths are a little bit deeper and longer and steady. We'll slowly open our eyes and keep your gaze downward. Let's inhale our arms up and over, stretching up nice and tall. Bring your hands together and letting them float to heart center. Let's rest our thumbs at our heart center. And we're going to seal our practice with two ohms. We'll take a nice big inhale and the exhale will be an ohm. And once we're out of that breath, we'll do it one more time. So on this next breath. for tying the time today to get on our mat, to stretch, to breathe, to connect with ourselves. And the mom in me honors the mom in you. Namaste and mama's day. And I bless you all as you go today. And thank you for practicing with me. Thank you. I really enjoyed spending some time with you on the mat today. And I hope you also enjoyed it. Um, as always, some feedback is always good, so please leave a comment and let me know what you thought about today and what was your favorite part.